If you find yourself anxious, exhausted, feeling disconnected, or even somewhat of an outsider, if you have some sort of core wound that it always feels like people just don't understand you or that you can't speak up or that you have to kind of chameleon and fit into different situations, places, things, then I am going to encourage you to reframe instead of going with an old ego intellect story that you are somehow a problem and that we need to change work harder. I want to invite in some curiosity and just maybe start to ask yourself, is this my vibe? Does the frequency match? Which is a different conversation. And the reason why it's such a big shift in just perspective is in the first example that I gave of people don't understand me and I'm all alone and so hard is an ego story. An ego story first self selects out. It's me against you. And either you scare me, you overwhelm me, you don't like me. That comes into these same patterns. When we're in an ego story, it's like a, a repeat. You know, one is the loneliest number, <laughs> is my ego, Pete, my bark a dog, as we say by family's favorite song. And it's because it is so lonely. The ego is lonely. So if you're in a situation where it's not a vibe match, I mean, go to that place. If we start to feel the vibe, this doesn't feel right. Something is off. We go to our head, that ego intellect that goes to that same story. We will often just end up with that same feeling. Try hard. Try hard with no success. And that is not fun. And the second, hmm, let me tune in. Let me take a moment and pause and tune in internally and say, is this a vibe match? Is this, does this match my own frequency? And then pause, be curious and listen. Your vibes come in through the portal of your physical body and resonate in the present moment. It's the only place you're able to listen. Now, when we start to pause, pay attention, go inward and really start to notice and listen to that energy and honor it, give it voice, give it power, give it space. And from a place of neutrality and decision, everything in our life changes. All of a sudden you start navigating differently instead of from that ego place of, oh, I have to make the shoe fit Cinderella when you've got a baby shoe. <laughs> you go to a different frequency of, does this feel good for me for now? And I am going to pay attention and make decisions and honor that and choose that, which clears our energetic space and allows us to enter into not only situations, places, things, whatever, centered in our own vibe, in our own spirit, in our own self. And when we do that, it's so incredibly attractive. It's like turning on a really bright light. Now, I told I'm telling the story because I recently just went traveling. I was in I was in Europe for the past month. And what was interesting is I was also with my partner who was on tour. He is does video and we were on a music tour for the first few different cities. Now there was a wonderful, lovely collection of people, but it was interesting because the moment that I first met everybody, there was somebody who was in instantly not an energetic match. And aside from the vibe, which I felt the moment that I walked into the room before I even saw this person, <laughs> but I was again affirmed when I a question about what their favorite album was, what got them into music, trying to make conversation, connection, be curious about who's in front of me. And instead of answering me, they did, did not look at me and just looked to my partner and would only answer, talk, and ask him. Now, instead of getting into a lot of judgment, now trust me, my ego had a lot of different things to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm honest. I, my vibes did not lie. And this was just not an energetic match or frequency. So instead of trying to figure out what their deal was, what my story is, what the overlay is, we can simplify by just going inward and saying, not a vibrational match. It's almost like up, oh, you know, uh, uh, just it's not a match, right? It's not a match. And from there, we can proceed with levity. 
So when we start to first for yourself, just start to notice what is your own vibration? What is the own vibration of your own spirit? A really simple tool to start anchoring into your own spirit, into your own energy. So just start to by rubbing your hands together and slowly pulling them apart, feeling the dance of energy between your hands. It's like a ball. I'll find a way with. This is your spirit, right? You can even, one of my favorite tools that I start my day every day, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, take a deep breath in through your nose. Imagine like you're breathing up through your feet and just exhale. And if you feel so called, just even close your eyes and just start to center into your own vibration. Just start to notice how it feels. This is home. This is home base. This is your vibe. This is your spirit. And if you're new, sometimes at first, our little heads will be chattering a lot, but this tool, as simple as this, and just taking some breaths and just letting that awareness go inwards as a practice, that chatter will start to quiet and you'll start to feel that pulse of your spirit. You'll start to feel your own vibration that's distinct from everyone else's, right? It's like a, 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 a musical note that is unique to you. <laughs> so we can be aware of our vibration. That's the tone. That's the sound. That's the feeling. That's the sensation that I get. Then when just like music, when we are out in the world doing things, meeting people, any of it, you can just start to scan that same thing. Ooh, do these two tones go together? Do these two vibes match? Or does it sound like a discordant noise? Just like a piano. If you go, if you know, if you hit two keys will sound really good. If you hit a different key, it won't sound good at all. And that's the same thing often with vibration. When we can start to pay attention, it's like Goldilocks and the, and the three bears, right? You're like, oh, I'm curious about this or this vibe, right? Mm, mm, mm. No, too cold. That's not for me. Okay, thank you. Middle, <laughs> you know, too hot, just right. When we start to have this as this different pulse, it starts to change our awareness and really alleviate ourselves from trying too hard, from guilt, from overthinking, from shame that can come in from and really have a new way to connect with our emotions and ourselves. And I've also had another really interesting experience with this because I love to go dancing. And so this, I went to, when I went to Berlin, my dream was to go to some different dance clubs there because I'm like, I'm in a whole other world. And it was funny, I went to three different clubs. The first night, I loved the music. The space was not for me. It was very crowded. And I remember getting there and I was so excited. I'm like, oh my God, I did it, yay, house music. I go in and again, immediately, even when we were standing in line, I was like, mm, I don't know if this is gonna be the vibe. And my partner agreed. I was like, all right, I will go try with curiosity. And immediately we got in there, it just was not a good fit. So we stayed for an hour, danced, had a good time. Thank you very much. Ed left. Another night we went out and went to a big techno club. And it was really a very different experience. It was not a energetic match. I felt it was interesting, but again, for me, it was like trying to make a baby shoe fit on Cinderella. And after spending some time there and really appreciating it for what it was, which was different, a different world than my own, I also had to just acknowledge, again, this is not for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good information. And then I went to another dance club on the third night. And what was so fun and you was you would take off your shoes so you had your socks on it was all carpeted I loved the music I loved the vibe I was having so much fun dancing my little heart out having the best time and it was not only an energetic match which just made my whole heart spirit self explode but the fun part which I just saw mirrored so greatly was that all of a sudden all these people started coming up to me telling me they loved my dance moves dancing with me chatting with me encouraging me, sharing things with me, giving me information and restaurants and at, at just it, it, that energetic match made it so such a different experience where I, you could feel being in flow with the evening, with the orientation. And so this week, I really am encouraging you to pay attention first. What is my own vibe? What is my vibration? Anchor that in as home number one. What, the, what is my musical note, right? 
And just be curious, curiosity of just saying, I wonder, I wonder what that's like. A, a simple sentence puts us into a listening state. You don't need to figure it out. We can feel that energy by connecting to our bodies. Again, that same tool. I'm curious. I wonder, I know I have a really distinct vibe. I wonder what it feels like. Pulling our hands apart, right? Connect in, feeling your spirit, connecting it to your body, bringing that attention and in, in vibration inwards. And just start to feel it as a signature. And when you go out into the world, practice. Is this a match? Is this a match? And you can do it anywhere from food to people to places to decisions to, and just practice listening vibrationally, being curious. It is one of the ways that I navigate and live as an intuitive. And it feels like surfing and just like playing music. It at first might feel a little, a little like, ooh, huh. But as we show up and with practice, it becomes your new normal because you are an inherently divine being. You are inherently intuitive. You are inherently connected. So what these practices are, are just excavating and replugging back into that part that you know, you know when the vibe is off. So pay attention and trust it. And if it's not a match, and it's not a match, baby. No harm, no foul, as I, my godmother would say. It's just not for me. And I love that. It's just not for me. And then make the decision to be self-loving and remove yourself or your time or your attention or your emotional energy from what's not a match and channel it into what is. And notice how in that same way, the universe, your guides, angels, your intuition will respond in kind and you will feel that mirror ring show up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. I'm also going to be teaching a workshop um, April 24th for $5, the fastest way to uncomplicate your life. And I'm also launching Psychic University Level 2, which is gonna be coming up pretty soon in May. I can't believe it. So if you want to go to psychic school and really not only up level your intuition, but move into a direct experience as your new normal in a fun, collaborative, creative, really beautiful container. It's my favorite thing to do. I would love to see you there. So check out the description box below and, and at least sign up for the waiting list. Come to the workshop. Come to the workshop. Also, if you come to the workshop, you get, I believe, $50 off Psychic University. And so give them a test, put the toe in the water, test it out, see if it's for you, right? See if it's a vibe match. <laughs> and if it's not, that's okay. It's not a match. And if it is, I'm so excited because that means that we get to get up. So I am sending you all my love. I hope that your week is as weak, as in, as beautiful as it, the beautiful piece of music that you are. I'm sending you all my love. I'll see you next week. Bye.